good morning researchers you are welcome in my youtube channel my research guide in this video we will discuss about the research gap and objectives so first of all purpose of a research what is the purpose of the research so the <clears throat> overall purpose of any research or a study can be expressed in the following three ways first is as a research questions as a hypothesis or as aims and objectives of that particular research or maybe the combination of these three ways whether to use question or the hypothesis in any research work so it totally depend upon the factors like purpose of our research purpose of our study nature of design and methodology used in our research work or audience of our research our reviewer editors and the readers now the research question the first step is to define the research problem it is a most difficult and important step during the research so in this we have to know about what is known means what is available in the existing literature what are unknown to us unknown means that information is not available in the literature that is the knowledge gap or we can say it is the research gap then further research gap or the knowledge gap lead toward the research problem what is the problem that can be fulfilled by the our research so if we come to know about the knowledge gap then we can define a research problem present a research problem in the form of questions we have to draw few questions to define our research problem then the research gap a research gap a topic or area for which missing or insufficient information limits the ability to reach a conclusion for a particular question limits the ability of the decision makers for the making decisions missing piece or the insufficient information in the existing literature and these are the areas that have scope for the future or the further research because they are unexplored under explored or the outdated so these things we can say present the gap in the research or the gap in the knowledge gap in the existing research so the few tips to identify the research gap how to identify the research gap from the literature so for this purpose look for the inspiration in the published literature we have to go through the literature of the particular research area seek help from our supervisor we can take the help from our supervisor advisor our mentor our seniors our colleagues we can use the digital tool to seek out the popular topics or the most cited research paper of the particular research domain we can check the website of the reputed journals to find out the hot topics popular topics 
make a note of your queries during your survey or you can say searching the literature and finding the questions and the research gaps from the literature and then research out each questions you have find during the literature survey or the this practice of finding the research gap a research problem an area of concern or a gap in the existing knowledge that may be a research problem points the need for the further understanding as well as investigation or it may be a scope for the further research identify and the state the problem in the specific terms identify variables in the problem situation and define them adequately and generate the explicit research questions on the relationship between the important variables so in this way we can define a research problem in the particular area then never paint a problem in the journal way our research problem should be specific so never write in this way little is known about this or no research has dealt with like this we have to go for the concise writing precise writing then the few example of the research question so try putting the different word in the blanks our research question should be in such a format what is the effect of this on this for example we can write here uh, what is the effect of detergent on the germination of seeds this may be a research question or we can say what is the effect of the temperature on the volume of air there is another example how or to what extent does the dash affect dash so we can take a example like this how or to what extent does the humidity affect growth of fungi to what extent does the color of a material affect its observation of the heat or to what extent does the fertilizer affect the growth of a plant so these are the research questions just for example so you can fit such type of the question or generate the such type of the question from your research topic try to frame out the knowledge gap in the research questions in the research problems then the another example is which dash then verb and dash like which detergent makes the most bubbles so the research question should be precise and specific state exactly what you are going to investigate it is very important when we are defining the research question for our research problem then identify the gap found in the introduction section of a journal article or the poster or in the goal and important section of the research problem when you are writing a journal article then the gap identification should be in the introduction section and when you are writing 
a research problem then it should be in the goals and the important section of the proposal a gap might be a lack of understanding about how well a particular instrument work in the certain situations or it could be introducing a new method that need to be tested it could be that you are studying a whole new organism system or the part of a particular process your project work may also address the multiple gaps in which case you should be sure to identify each of them clearly there may be more than one uh, research gap knowledge gap in your particular research pro uh, project you might not always be studying something brand new but in most of the cases you should still try to come up with something unique about your project however it may be smart means when you are doing the research it never mean that you are uh, you can say discover something new in uh, every time but in your research there should be something unique it might be very small talk with your professor or your supervisor about what they expect for your research gap statement if nothing seem to the work you are on if you feel any difficulty then you should discuss with your mentor your guide about their expectation about the gap statement or the research statement after this fill the gap so once you identify the gap in the literature you must tell your audience about how you are attempt to at least somewhat address to your project this lack of knowledge or the understanding in a journal article this is often done in a new paragraph and should be accomplished in a one summary statement in the introduction section for example fill the gap should be uh, written in the such a way therefore the purpose of this study was to determine the effect of lead on the human body especially on the liver so this statement is clearly defined that what uh you can say gap or how our research is filling the knowledge or the literature gap by our study some phrases we can use to indicate uh to fill the gap we therefore analyzed this study we investigated so this Uh, you can say the phrases we can use to indicate the to fill the gap therefore the goal of this study are in this paper we report so these are the phrases used to present the fill the gap next is the problem statement it claim that outlines the state uh, research briefly explain the problem briefly address the research questions we can say it is the particular problem statement or the research problem statement transform a generalized problem into a targeted well defined problem that can be resolved throughout the focused research means problem uh, research problem statement 
is generally uh, you can say used for focusing the research by target or the particular define the definition or the defining the problem of our study next is the characteristics of a problem statement so address it address a gap in the knowledge what we have been done in the past and why further research is required or the needed then identify and delineate research problem problem should render itself to investigation through collection of the data explain what researchers want to solve and what question he or she wishes to the answer this thing are included in a uh, research statement then convincing argument that available knowledge is insufficient to solve it or as a solution to the particular issue explain why the study is important or the current uh, the importance of the current research the problem statement forms a fundamental or you can say a uh, few base for the future development of the research problem it leads or you can say it include the objectives and the methodologies our objectives and methodologies is totally based upon the problem statement so main drawback of any proposals research question is not specific enough so when you are writing your research proposals then make sure that your questions should be specific and enough to define the particular problem then the hypothesis <clears throat> hypothesis is an educated guess about how thing works declarative statement it is you can say it predicts the relationship between two or more variables concepts phenomena things or the events the hypothesis predict a possible answer to the research problems or the research questions if then statement underline whole research study testable need to able to measure both what you do and what will happen so this is the main uh, you can say uh, hypothesis has the importance then the hypothesis formulation to formulate the hypothesis for any research problem identify and state the problem in the specific term identify the variables in the problem situations and define them properly generate the tentative guesses or the hypothesis about the relation in the variables or in other words the solution of that particular research problem there is a example a hypothesis is usually written like this if i do this then this will happen if soil temperature rises then plant growth will increase 
this is the statement of a hypothesis so this leads to the objective like this to study the effect of soil temperature on plant growth <clears throat> this is just for our practice you may uh, you can say take any example of your research area then the research objective describe concisely what the research is trying to achieve what is we are exploring we are discovering they summarize and accomplishment a researcher wishes to achieve through the research project and provide direction to the particular research work so research goals are broad statement of what is ultimately to be accomplished during the research work objective are more specific aims which the project want to achieve so this is the major difference in the research goal and the research objectives research goal is the broad statement and objective are the specific terms so objectives should be uh, smart specific measurable outcomes achievable or attainable realistic and time bound then characteristics of the objectives state objectives as outcomes or the solution not as a process objectives should specify the result of an activity must collectively test all the part of hypothesis 2 to 5 at the most our objective may be 2 uh, up to maximum up to 5 or it totally depend upon any organization or the any institution each must flow logically into the next non should be absolutely dependent on the outcome of an earlier objective so the research objective should lead to your methodology if it does not research objective are not good enough so make sure that your research objective should lead your methodology now good research object how we can say or how we can uh, select the good res uh, research objective so this should be presented briefly and concise our objective should be brief as well as very concise they should be presented in the logical sense they should be realistic that is achieved within the specific time line or achieved within the available resources so thanks for your kind attention so this is all about our this uh, particular uh, research gap and the objectives so thank you for the watching the complete video and uh, like comment and share this video with the researchers and subscribe my channel thanks a lot